When palpating the osseous or bony landmarks of the elbow, we will start with the patient's elbow supported and start from mid shaft of the humerus. We will work our fingers down on each side until we find the two bony prominences on each side, the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle. Concentrating on the medial side, from the medial epicondyle, we will actually palpate superiorly and palpate the medial supracondylar ridge. Coming back to the medial epicondyle, going posterior, we will actually palpate the ulnar groove. From that ulnar groove, we will be able to palpate even further posterior and palpate the pointy, or most people call the elbow bone, and the superior part of that will be the olecranon process. So the olecranon process, the medial epicondyle. In between those two structures, we will not be able to palpate very well until our skill is uh, significantly improved, but we can feel the fibers of the medial collateral ligament of the elbow, sometimes called the ulnocollateral or ulnar collateral ligament. I'm going to switch arms for the lateral structures. Coming down from mid shaft of the arm again until I find my medial and lateral epicondyle. Concentrating on the lateral aspect, I have the lateral epicondyle. Superior to that, I will be palpating the lateral supracondylar ridge. Going from back to the medial epicondyle and coming distal down the forearm, I will come directly onto the head of the radius. I will, to make sure I'm on the head of the radius, I will take the patient's arm and pronate and supinate, and I will be able to feel the radial head because it is not perfectly round. Pronate and supinate, or spin underneath my palpation finger. In between, of course, the uh, lateral epicondyle and the radial head will be the, of course, the radial humeral joint.